All right, welcome back. We are talking about your forecast. We're also talking about the earthquakes. And uh, Candy, of course, we saw that big one on Tuesday night, that 5.2 magnitude earthquake that shook the area. But last night, about 24 hours later, we saw another one, not as strong, but I know a lot of people felt it. Do you feel it? I felt it. I did. It. I did feel it. Yes. I was in my car and uh, it was I was parked outside my house and I felt it. I was like, okay, the car's moving. Uh-oh. We're having another aftershock. So that's going to be the norm as we head into the next few days. And this one was a strong one. Take a look. It was 4.4 magnitude. Happened at 7.09. And uh, that was uh, near the grapevine. So definitely has been the strongest one we felt in a little while. So now let's talk about the weather forecast because things uh, not only we were it was the ground was shaking nonstop yesterday, but we also set a new record. And I'll tell you about that in just a little bit. I want to show you outside. Happy Thursday, everybody. And it's a beautiful sun sunrise. Take a look. The sun is officially up and the traffic is flowing smoothly along the 99. It's a warm one. It's already 80 degrees. So get ready uh, to stay hydrated out there today. Humidity is at 34% and the winds are light. It's 65 in Delano right now. It's 57 in Fraser Park, 72 already in Tehachapi. And the forecast for today calls for 103 for Baker. So it's definitely less hot than yesterday. However, we're going to be above average. We should be around 98 for this time of year. And 112 is the record set back in 1905. The sunset will happen at 752. Now let's talk about yesterday where our, we reached 111. That was our high. Breaking the old record of 110 set back all the way back in 1905. So yes, uh, I hope we don't see those temperatures again, at least for now. So it looks like we're headed in that direction. This rich of high pressure it responsible for producing heat wave number six is going to get weaker and weaker as we progress into the weekend. So that is definitely good news. We're going to be in the lower 100s and as we head into early next week, we're going to be in the 90s. Perfect timing for kids to go back to school. So now let's take a quick look and go to the opposite coast of what's happening to Tropical Storm Debbie, as you can see, it's reintroducing itself in the Carolinas today. And to gain a little bit of strength, you see sustained winds at 45 miles per hour. It's expected to produce more precipitation as we head into the next day or so. So definitely this is going to put a lot of uh, uh, millions of people into threat as it continues moving northeast. It is going to get weaker and that is good news, um, especially as the weekend progresses. No watches and warnings in place for us right now. We look for temperatures in the lower 100s for the valley floor and as once again, triple digits also and areas like Mulford Heights and Kernville, 89 in Fraser Park. Looking ahead, the weekend is looking a little bit cooler. It's going to be less hot and then we're going to be in the mid to upper 90s as we head into early next week. That's a look at your forecast. Cash back to you.